switch gears and talk about the Associated Press and James Rosen and this now, in, you know, twice in two weeks, reports that the DOJ, Eric Holder, has gone in there and gotten reporters' phone records. In some instances, cell phone records. We believe James Rosen's parents' records, their phone records. And both times, it's, it was an egregious national security leak and we had to do it without notice. No notice to the other side and the chance to object. Your thoughts on it? Well, there are two separate, two separate cases. Let's yeah. start with the AP. There are regulations in the Code of Federal Regulations and within the U.S. Attorney's Manual on how the Justice Department is supposed to approach getting telephone records of reporters. For one thing, they're supposed to exhaust other remedies, uh, other methods of investigation they claim before they, they did resort that. to that. Secondly, they are supposed to frame the subpoena as narrowly as possible. And third, they are supposed to negotiate when, with the news entity involved or the reporter involved when unless doing so would compromise the investigation. And that's and I their can't, assertion. That's their assertion. Um, back it up, because I can't see how it would. This, the, the investigation with respect to Fox had to do with a, um, a, 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 a State Department sorry, leaker who was speaking to James with, Rosen. With the, a, with the AP. Okay. Let's, let's stick to the AP for a minute. With the AP, it had to do with a leak about a confidential operation um, within the CIA uh, in which they foiled a plot uh, to, to put a bomb aboard an airliner. The, the plot was over, mm -hmm. and the person, as I gather, was out already. So the question, I suppose, is whether that person could have continued to function or not. If the person could not have continued to function, then there really wasn't any national security issue left. But they nonetheless proceeded to well, try to get... Let me ask you this. As somebody who used to hold this post, and I know you have another point to make, but we're yeah. running out of time. But how big a deal is it in the Department of Justice, when you were there, how, how big a deal was it to go after the records, the, the phone, home phone, cell phone, possibly parental phone, internal Fox News phone or, you know, other phone records of journalists covering the administration? Well, the closest, the, the fact is I never did anything like that. <laughs> the, the closest I came was trying to get a, a subpoena, to subpoena a reporter for a grand jury investigation. And it was very, very difficult. We were very circumspect. We had to negotiate with the reporter. We had to negotiate with the entity that he worked for. We had to negotiate with his lawyers, obviously. And it didn't get done within the time that I was there. Mm -hmm. It is a very delicate procedure, and everybody there knows it. And quickly, what do you make of the, the separate case of them looking into, uh, suggesting James Rosen is a criminal for doing his job as a reporter and seeking out information from a source. That one's incredible. And what is even more incredible to me is they actually got a judicial officer to sign that warrant. They went to a, a magistrate judge. Now, these are kind of JV judges, if you will. They're not Article Three judges. They're appointed by the court, and they have jurisdiction to grant search warrants. But he signed a search warrant based on representations that didn't justify it. Mm -hmm. The affidavit showed that they already knew who the leaker was. Mm -hmm. They didn't need information. Right. That one they had it. already identified. That guy Correct. is now being prosecuted, it's, but it, it's they all already over the knew. affidavit. They didn't need it. And yet a warrant was signed. Why why would they do that? I mean, what is going on here? I'm not clinically trained, so I can't get inside their minds. But you've held the post, General. I mean, this is a serious This is about Look, th you, this, that is a serious obligation you take on when you become the Attorney General this looks of the United to be, States. This looks to be about controlling the flow of information. If you make it difficult for reporters to gather information, you make it hazardous for people to disclose information, then necessarily the only information that gets out is the information that comes from the government. And that's not the way it ought to be. Mm -hmm. Former Attorney General Michael Mukasey, thank you, sir. Thanks. Great to see you.